depending on companies and the culture within the the organization you do have companies who for them it's super normal it's everybody on video all the time and other companies who tend to be a bit i wouldn't say conservative it's just they prefer not to use it all the time and there is no right or wrong approach although i would say that if you want also as a presenter if you want to make a strong connection with the audience and also for the audience to have a better experience it is, I would recommend to keep the, the webcam on. And yes, I, for example, I did it today. Again, I don't want to use me as an example, but every time I have my sessions, sessions similar to these, I always invite people to do it. Of course, we can't force it. Also because now everybody, most people are working from home. So we need to respect that kind of privacy. But if they feel like it, then rich media which means like including video is much more powerful for you jason as a presenter to connect with your audience to deliver your message in the most effective way if you think about the three circles message visuals and delivery now from a delivery perspective what we are talking about there are things like eye contact and posture and body language hand gestures all these kind of things now, it's very hard to get it right if either people can't see you or if you can't see them. So absolutely, if it's possible, if it feels good as part of the culture of the organization, always advisable. As a 